Alright guys, here with another battle report. Today it is Tyranids versus Bike Dark Angels. So, uh, my opponent today is Steve. How you doing, Steve? Alright, you want to go over your list here real quick? Okay, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, we got six bikes right here, just attack squadron, uh, double melta. Attack squadron over here, these six, double melta. Same over here, six bikes, double melta. Uh, we have a librarian on a bike and with a command squad so they've got the uh plasma talons all that wonderful stuff okay. he has psycho mastery 2 he has invisibility and psychic shriek we went with telepathy because prescience is a misnomer because of all the twin links anyways all right um land raider inside land raider is a command squad with a daca banner uh crusader as you can see um then in reserves we have uh azrael with Eight, nine tack marines in a drop pod. All right, and this is a 1750 game. We are playing uh, Emperor as well. We've got an objective here in the middle of the board and just offset on the other side. Uh, for Tyranids, let me go over my list here real quick. Let me grab my list because I've got all kinds of weird psychic powers. So up in the front row, we've got 30 gargoyles with toxin sacs and adrenal glands. Um... The Warlord Tyrant has Toxin Sacks, Iron Arm, and Leech Essence. The other Hive Tyrant has Iron Arm and Psychic Shriek. We've got 10 Hormigants. We've got two Dock Effexes, one Zoanthrope, a Turvagon with uh, Toxin Sacks, Adrenal Glands, and Leech Essence, 10 Termagants with Devourers, 10 more Hormigants. Three warriors with no upgrades, and ten more termagants with devourers. And in reserves, we've got the Doom with Psychic Shriek and a Drop Pod, or in a uh, Mycetic Spore. And that's it. So did uh, I forgot? I forgot two things. Uh huh. Uh, my librarian has a power field generator, and we'll be doing an apothecary. Okay. In the command squad group. Forgot those. Alright, and my Warlord trait is any enemy within 12 has to take their lowest leadership. Won't really affect him because I think he's all 10s um, for the most part. And that's about it. Did you want to roll to see if you could uh, seize? Yes. Nope. And it's a 4. Alright, so Tyranid turn 1. Let's all see right. what happens. End of uh, top of 1. Everything just kind of moved forward and ran. Um, iron Arm went off, got a 1. Iron Arm went off, got a 2. And that was about it. So, we're in some terrain here. Everything kind of shifted over a bit. The Warriors are in terrain still. Everything's just moving up. Getting ready for all the DACA from the bikes. So, on to bottom right, of turn guys, Dark one. Angels turn 1. Our uh, wonderful little drop pod with Azrael and his tax squad came in here uh, on this side of the table. The uh, bikes all shifted around and put a bunch of fire into the gargoyles over here. Uh, I believe we killed, oh shoot, we killed a whole lot. Okay, and then uh, this front gun line here put in a bunch of fire to those gaunts. Killed, I believe, five or six. Uh, anyways, that was a whole lot of twin link shooting. Go, go, Ravenwing. All right, uh, we will go to... Turn two? Tyranid turn two. All right, okay. bottom of turn, or er, top of turn two. Uh, Doom came in, scattered over here a little bit. He moved, did his uh, regular uh, soul suck thing, didn't kill anyone, used Psychic Shriek on the command squad. He denied the witch. Everything else just kind of moved up. Uh, we shot and tried to charge the bikes with the gargoyles and didn't get a thing. Uh, we lost two from Overwatch. And that's about it. We're just trying to slowly close in on him over here. So he's got a nice line of bikes. So we'll see what happens at right, bottom guys, of turn Dark two. Dark Angels turn two. Um, bikes just kind of moved around from their previous position up here. That, that five-man squad moved back there. Command squad did not move. Uh, failed. Uh, both of his psychic tests due to Shadows of the Warp. 
from the Doom. Um, these bikes over here shot into shot into that Doom and charged. What's left of this squad made its leadership test, also shot into the Doom. And I believe each of those squads put on one wound. Um, the three that could see over here put some fire into the Doom as well. Didn't do anything. Um, oh, you're probably wondering why there's less bikes there. Uh, yeah, the uh, Doom did his little little wonderful thingy with the six inch radius and uh, yeah, that back squad right there uh, rolled a 17 on their leadership test. So seven wounds. Made and, for good dice. Yeah, and I, <laughs> and I lost four. Thank God for four up in vol save at the time from those guys. But uh, anyways, yeah, they uh, charged in there, didn't do any wounds. And that was about it for the combat on this side. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, DACA banner, very much leetness. Wiped out a ton of gargoyles over here in conjunction with our uh, wonderful little land raider. Did not get first blood, too bad, but that's okay. Little Maybe next turn. Still alive. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Maybe next turn. All right, we will see you at uh, Tyranid's turn All three. All right. Top of uh, Tyranid turn three. So we were able to kind of move everything up still going on. Got to charge off with the Gaunts onto the bikes that were tied up with the Doom. Um, Doom killed one in the main bike squad here. Got a wound back. The Spore killed one biker. And the Termagants over here fighting in the bikes killed one. Uh, everything else kind of just moved up a bit. We moved the gargoyle back, trying to prevent the first blood. And we tied combat over here. Uh, he hit and run, moved, like, was it 11 inches? 11 something inches. like that over here. Then I consolidated two and one. And that was it. So on to Dark Angels. Alrighty, guys. Dark Angels turn three. Uh, again, a whole lot of shooting happened. We had some... Uh, Bikes move over and make all their dangerous terrain tests over here and get sat up in those ruins. And these bikes just kind of moved up a little bit just so that they're within the 24 inch range. Land Raider moved over. Black Knights backed off from this doom. Uh, so they're outside of six inches. Uh, Marines just kind of stayed here. Our single bike moved over. Um, a lot of fire was put into the Hormagons over here from the Land Raider and the Black Knights. When I screwed up, I should have, I should have uh, did my initial psychic test for the psychic shriek on the, on the Doom, and then put all the rest of the fire into the Doom. So he might not even have been here anymore. Um, but anyways, yeah, the uh, Crusader went and uh, finished off the rest of the Termagants over there. Uh, these guys put in a lot of fire to the Hormagons. Uh, Crusader's main target was the Turvagon, put two wounds on that, and these guys also shot the Turvagon and put one more wound on it. Um, no assaults this phase, so that's pretty much about it. First blood! Oh yeah, first blood! Turn three! Amazing. So, that's it for Dark Angels turn three, on to... Ten Hormagons! <laughs> Woohoo! Ten Turvagons! All right, dark onto uh, Tyranid's turn four. All right, top of Tyranid four. Uh, we consolidated back on this side quite a bit. Got the worries over. Tyrant decided to actually do decent on his um, iron arm. Got a plus three, so he decided to move up. Try and scare things off. Uh, the Gaunts here and Mom decided to move up. Assaulted the bikes, uh, challenged with the uh, Turvagon, killed his sergeant with the Hammer of Wrath hit, and so he didn't do any wounds. Uh, he lost combat by one, passed his test, and just hit and run over here. Doom killed two more uh, with just his regular power. The um, Psychic Shriek didn't do anything. And he decided not to assault. He's back up to eight wounds. Iron arm over here went off again. Only a one. 
and we are moving the Carnifex up kind of in the center of the board here and just trying to consolidate on the objectives and that's it so that's it for uh turn into turn four on to dark angels all right guys dark angels bottom of turn four uh during the movement phase our bikes just kind of moved over so that we're within the 12 to 24 range for salvo same with these guys over here land raider didn't move just pivoted uh black knights Oh, wonderful skilled rider. They just moved right over here. No rolling needed. Uh, Marines just kind of shifted around here so that there's uh, at least some meat shields in front of uh, good old Azrael. Uh, as far as shooting goes, we put a bunch of fire into the Turvagon over here. Didn't do anything. Uh, fire from there over into the Turvagon. Didn't do anything. Um, did main target for the Land Raider over here at the Warriors. Uh, scored a hit with uh, Melta and three assault cannon hits. Uh, doubled out one of the warriors and put a wound on the second one over there. Um, there was a bike over here, at least used to be. Uh, he threw a grenade at the uh, uh, the uh, tyrant over there and charged into him just to hopefully hold him up for at least a, a turn but uh, that was unsuccessful. Killed my first squad. Yay, Yay. first squad kill. Uh, other than that, we'll do a quick little overview of the board. Man, there used to be a lot of Tyranids there. Used to be a lot more bikes. All right, so we're gonna go on to Tyranid turn five. Do you wanna roll for a night fight? Sure thing. One and it is a one. It is not night fight. So on to so Tyranid. End of five. Tyranid. Top of five. Um, start over here. The Turvagon and the Gaunts tried to charge in. Only the Gaunts made it, and they died. It was it was bad. Uh, but the Turvagon did use Leech Essence and got a wound back, so that was nice. Uh, let's see. This Carnifex here moved up and ran because he was out of shooting range. This Carnifex moved up, killed the two bikers that were there. The Zoanthrope shot at the Land Raider with its lance. Uh, got the power off. He didn't deny. I hit and rolled a one when I needed a two to glance. So that was awesome. Yay for one! Uh, Duma Malentai moved up, split him evenly between the two squads that were here, the two bikes. Um, didn't affect anything. He charged after he used uh, Psychic Shriek, which didn't do anything. But in the assault, I killed two and took one wound. Uh, but because I killed two, I went back up. So it's all good. Uh, he's fearless, so he's locked in. Tyrant got uh, a three on the iron arm again. Moved up, attempted to charge, and failed. And that was about it. Everything's just kind of clustering around the objectives over here and time for dark angels all right guys dark angels turn five um it's not really much to move around anymore because uh things are kind of looking bleak um so anyways uh these uh bikes after that previous combat just kind of moved up and put some fire into those termagants up there because there's nothing really else they can do i guess uh, Land Raider moved over, put a bunch of fire into the, um, these Termagons, those are Hormagons. Get these it right. Hormagons, yeah. Yeah. Get it right, Steve. Jeez. Okay, this combat continued over here. He put a wound on me. I did nothing to him. Um, these guys fired a Melta into the Tyrant and attempted to charge and rolled Snake Eyes. Uh, they do, however, have invisibility, so... <laughs> They have Stealth and Shrouded, uh, probably one of the only psychic tests that I have made successfully because of the stupid Doom over there. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all that happened. And because it's end of turn five, we're going to see if we continue. Albert, you want to roll that? Three, we do. And we do continue. You want to roll for Night Fight? Five. And it is Night Fight. All righty. On to Tyranids turn All right. six. Bottom what? Turn six? Yes. Or top of six? 
top of six. So move the hive tyrant up and everything kind of merged on the bikes that were there. Um, Leech Essence did nothing. Psychic Shriek did nothing. Chronifix came in with his double twin link devourers and just blew him away. Uh, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, why hasn't that Turfagon spawned anything all game? Well, he did like turn one or turn two. He spawned seven guys and got double ones. So he, uh, he ran out early. So he's just been running around. Um, just in case you were wondering. So over here, uh, shot the lance, did nothing. Carnifex charged, um, got a glance and a pen, so it can't move and can only snap fire. Uh, during the shooting phase, the Doom finally killed off the Librarian, thanks to the Soul Suck power, Soul Siphon. And got up to strength 10, charged the, uh, the Drop Pod in the Assault phase, and blew it up. And he got hurt, but he made his save, thankfully. And over here, made my iron arm of three again. Uh, so he strengthened toughness nine, charged in. Uh, I didn't challenge, but Azriel challenged me. Which was stupid. Which was maybe not the best idea. <laughs> so I uh, got two wounds on Azriel. He failed one of his saves and doubled him out. And I think we're going to call it here, because all he's got left now is the land raider with the command squad and this tactical squad. Um... Against all these bugs still kind of ra hanging around the table. He was he really went strong to try and take out my troops last turn, but just didn't get enough. So I've got two, three troops here, actually. Gaunts, these two Gaunts, and then the two Warriors. And then one troop over there. And uh, that's about it. So the score's 8 to 1, and we're just going to call a game. So thanks, bud, for the game. Yes, sir. And you have a good one. And like and subscribe.